Hello friends. Today I am going to discuss a very interesting but a little bit difficult topic that is lineage tracing by Cree Locksby system. Now, when we read this topic from books or from other articles, it is a little bit difficult to understand. So in this video, I have created a step by step easy explanation guide for the students so they can easily learn that how the Cree Locksby system can be used for lineage tracing. So in first step, we will learn that what is the meaning of words Cree and Locksby. Now Cree is a recombinase enzyme which is isolated from bacteriophage P1 and as it is an enzyme which is working on DNA for recombination, it is having specific target sequences and those target sequences are called as LOXP DNA sequences. So Cree is just a recombinase enzyme isolated from bacteriophage P1 and which targets LOXP DNA sequence for the process of recombination. Now, what are LOXP sites? So LOXP sites are specific DNA sequences which are the target of enzyme Cree. So Cree is the enzyme and LOXP is the target sequence for Cree. Now this is a basic example of Cree LOXP site where you are having 13 base pair uh, conservated uh, sequence, conserved sequence, then 8 base pairs and then again 13 base pairs conserved sequence. So these sequences are recognized by the enzyme Cree and then Cree enzyme catalyzes the process of recombination. Heavy, huh? So when we only use scientific terms, then it gets a little bit difficult to understand the action of enzyme and what is the role of LOXP site. So we'll be seeing a simple diagrammatic example to understand about these two things in detail. So we have to understand the function of Cree and LOXP. To understand that, I have created an artificial condition where we are having the promoter of a gene and this is the coding of gene. And in this example, we are using the coding sequence of GFP that is green fluorescent protein. Now in between the promoter and GFP, we have added a stop sequence and this stop sequence is flanked by LOXP sites. Again, promoter and coding sequence is having a stop sequence in between and the stop sequence is flanked by LOXP sites. Now, if this DNA sequence is, we are going to transcribe this sequence or we are going to do the transcription, then there will be no transcription of GFP gene and will be not getting any signal of GFP because the stop sequence is present between the promoter and coding sequence of now. Again, we see this example, promoter, stop sequence, flanked with LOXP sites, and then the coding sequence of GFP. Now, if the sequence is treated with the presence of enzyme Cree, then what will happen? The Cree will recognize the LOXP site and it will cut the LOXP sites and the stop sequence will come out and we'll be having a new recombined sequence as the function of Cree is recombination. This recombined sequence will be having promoter and GFP without any stop signal or without any stop sequence. So now the transcription of GFP gene will be there and we'll be getting GFP positive signal. So what is happening here? That if a stop sequence is present between promoter and your reporter gene or any gene, then this gene will not express, it will not transcribe. But if you are treating the sequence with Cree enzyme, Cree will remove the stop sequence by recognizing LOXP sites and then your gene will start expressing 
and if the gene is a reporter gene like GFP then you will start getting the signal. So by using this example we have learned in step 1 that what is the meaning of words Cree and Loxby and which kind of functions they are performing. Now in second step we will learn what is the meaning of lineage and what is the meaning of lineage tracing. So I will be explaining it again by taking a very interesting and simple example and in this example we are having the hematopoietic stem cell which is present in bone marrow and this hematopoietic stem cells can give rise to different different cell types. For example, it is giving common myeloid progenitor, then it is giving common lymphoid progenitor, then these progenitors are converting into different different cells. So it means from one type of stem cell, we are getting so many types of different cells. So the whole system of stem cell and its final differentiated cell is called as lineage. And what do we mean by lineage tracing? That we want to find out that in a system and in an organism, how many cells are coming from the same type of stem cell or we just want to find out what is the developmental pathway which is including different progenitors between the stem cell and the final cell. It means I want to trace the pathway from hematopoietic stem cell, then common lymphoid, uh, common myeloid progenitor, then myoblast, then monocyte and then macrophage. So I want to develop a technique by which the whole lineage can be traced. Now to understand the lineage tracing done with the help of Cree recombinase and Loxby site, we will be taking one hypothetical example and in this example we are having a stem cell. Then this stem cell is giving us two progenitors, progenitor 1 and progenitor 2. Then progenitor 1 is giving two differentiated cells, cell type A and cell type B. The progenitor 2 is again giving two types of differentiated cell, progenitor C, uh, sorry, differentiated cell C and differentiated cell D. Now we want to trace the whole pathway. It means we want to do lineage tracing. And to understand the lineage tracing, we are going to use a protein which is expressing specifically in our stem cell and I am giving the name protein X. So I will be taking the advantage of knowledge that protein X is expressing in the stem cell. Now with the combination of this protein X, Cree recombinase and the reporter gene Loxby sites, we are going to analyze the whole lineage and whole lineage tracing. So in next step what we are having we are generating a reporter mouse. So how we are generating it? To generate a reporter mouse we are taking a sequence where we are having a ubiquitous promoter. What do we mean by ubiquitous promoter? Ubiquitous promoter means which is expressing in every cell ubiquitously or equal. right? After this ubiquitous promoter, we are using a stop sequence and this stop sequence is flanked by which sites? Loxby sites and in control of ubiquitous promoter, we are using the coding sequence of GFP. Now, one of the example of ubiquitous locus is ROSA26. ROSA26 is a DNA sequence which express in every cell. Now, by using this DNA, and by using mouse making techniques, we will be creating a mouse which is having a condition and the condition is each cell of the mouse is having this gene sequence or this DNA sequence where the ubiquitous promoter is having a stop sequence flanked by LOXP sites and a finally a reporter gene. Now, now if we see the speciality of this mouse, then we can say in reporter mouse, every cell contains the coding sequence of GFP, but none of them give GFP signal because of presence of stop sequence. Okay, So this reporter mouse is containing the message to express the GFP, but the message is not expressed because of 
presence of this top sequence which is flanked by LOXP site. Now in step 4 we are creating a Cree mouse. So how to create a Cree mouse? For that I already told you that we have to trust the lineage from stem cells then progenitors and from progenitors the differentiated cell and we are taking the advantage that stem cell is expressing which protein X. So we are going to create a DNA sequence which is having promoter of protein X and under the control of this promoter the Cree gene is present or the coding sequence of Cree is present. So here I can say the Cree will express in those cells which are going to express the protein X. It means the Cree will be expressing in the stem cell. Now by using this DNA sequence we are going to create again a mouse and this mouse is called as Cree mouse and the speciality of this Cree mouse is that in the Cree mouse every cell contains the coding sequence of Cree but only those cells will be expressing Cree which are expressing protein X right. So the Cree in the whole mouse the Cree coding sequence is present but the Cree is expressed by our target stem cell. Now if you want to analyze the lineage of hematopoietic cell then instead of protein X you will be using the promoter of that protein which is specific to hematopoietic cells and you will be fusing it with the coding sequence of Cree. If you are interested in endothelial lineage then you will be taking that protein which is specifically expressing in endothelial stem cell and you will be fusing the Cree. If you are interested in liver stem cell lineage then you will be taking the protein which is expressed by liver stem cell. So it is very easy. In previous step we have created a reporter mouse which is containing the GFP sequence in every cell but GFP is not expressed because of the presence of stop sequence. Now another mouse we have created that is a Cree mouse and Cree mouse may the Cree coding sequence is under the control of promoter of our target protein or that protein which is selectively and specifically expressing in our target stem cell for which we want to analyze the lineage or for for which we want to trace the lineage. Now in step 5 an interesting turn of events will come. So we will take the reporter mouse then we will cross it with the Cree mouse and we will be creating a heterozygous mouse. Now this heterozygous mouse will be having both the sequences the ubiquitous promoter, stop sequence flanked by LOXP and the GFP sequence. Then promoter of protein X or promoter of our target protein, our specific protein which is having the fusion with Cree coding sequence. Now these two sequences are present in each cell of our heterozygous mouse. Now we will see that how to analyze the lineage or how to trace the lineage once we are having the heterozygous mouse. Now what will happen? that in heterozygous mouse the promoter of protein X and Cree sequence is present. So this Cree will be expressed in those cells where the promoter of protein X will be expressing means Cree will be expressed only and only by our stem cell, stem cell of our example. Now this Cree will be recognizing the LOXP site and it will remove the stop sequence. Now once the stop sequence is removed then GFP will start expressing. So in heterozygous mouse only those cells will express the GFP which are expressing the protein X and that is our stem cell. So what is happening here that Cree is selectively expressed by the promoter of protein X only in our stem cell. It means our stem cell will start expressing Cree then this Cree will target and remove this stop sequence. Now once the stop sequence is removed then GFP will start expressing. Now I can easily say that whole mouse, the every cell of mouse is containing the GFP coding sequence 
but only the target stem cell is expressing the gfp why because it has produced the cre and cre has removed the stop sequence and once the stop sequence is removed then gfp is going to be expressed so finally we analyze here so in the whole lineage once the stop sequence is removed from stem cell dna then every cell originated from the stem cell will give positive gfp signal because here we have removed the stem cell uh, sorry stop signal now once it is giving you two progenitor cells they also don't have that stop signal so they will also become green then progenitors are giving differentiated cell they also don't have the stop sequence because stop sequence was removed in the stem cell so they will also become green now in the mouse only cells of our target lineage will be having gfp expression and other cells will be gfp negative means all the green cells will be of one lineage means all the green cells will be of one lineage that is our target lineage so we can dissect the mouse and we can find out the gfp positive cells and we can say that all the gfp positive cells are originated from our stem cells it means they are part of one lineage it was a very nice example to understand it is a great technique of cell biology and molecular biology by which we are easily tracing the lineage now i just give you one example regulatory t cells have foxp3 as their specific transcription factor now if i add the cre sequence in the promoter of foxp3 then what will happen all the t-rex will become what green if we are crossing it with our reporter mouse so you can trace any lineage if you have the knowledge of specific protein which is expressing in your stem cell of a particular lineage now already you can get from outside the reporter mouse you just have to create a cre mouse based on your target based on your target cells you just cross them create heterozygous mouse and look for gfp positive or other reporters like red fluorescent protein white uh, yellow fluorescent protein yfp and all then you will be looking fluorescent cells and you will be saying all fluorescent cells are coming from one lineage so i hope you have understood the whole process how to do lineage tracing by using cre lock speed system